Asa, happen shall doom. If laser you play with. Ha 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 ha. really? I'm serious, Asa. Did you know that laser beams are so powerful they can cut into the hardest surface known to man? A diamond. Oh, I didn't know that. But this is just a toy. Tell me more about lasers. Laser or light amplification by stimulated emission of radiation was first built by Theodore H. Maiman in 1960. Based on a theoretical work by Charles Hart Townis and Arthur Leonard Shaulow. Though the work has been based on the works of Max Planck and Albert Einstein on the photoelectric effect of light, Einstein proposed that light travels in packets of energy called photons. A photon is the smallest unit of light. He also theorized that electron could be stimulated to generate light of a particular wavelength. So laser is light. Yes, but it is also different from light because it can be amplified to a great distance and is monochromatic because it is at a particular wavelength. So it is either red or green or colorless. But why is laser able to cut through anything, Kasa? Laser is able to cut through things because it is a column of very high intensity of light. This is done with the help of a curved mirror. This makes the beam more magnified and increases the intensity. Oh, I see. <laughs> laser is now used in our everyday life. In medical surgeries to remove cancer, to remove blocks in arteries and veins, to perform localized surgeries, to develop hidden fingerprints and to generate three-dimensional images in holography. They are even used for welding and cutting of hard materials by surveyors and factories like the automobile industry. Wow! Careful must we be with laser! <laughs> <laughs>